that's a French seam. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Forget everything you already know, where normally you put pretty side to pretty side. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with me. Uh, today I will be showing you how to sew French seams. Um, in the Facebook group, uh, we were discussing making clothing and some other things. Um, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, I'm going to put the link below. So go ahead and join. Um, I do Q&A sessions and um, just small posts to help you learn to sew easier. But someone in the group, um, we started discussing clothing. French seams came up, so voila. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll show you what French seams are. If you don't know what they are, Imagine putting on clothing, putting on um, a pair of pants and not have the itchy seams irritating between your legs and in your crotch area. It's life changing. <laughs> um, if you wear jeans, if you wear uh, capris or khakis, then you understand the seams and how, you know, those pant legs all, you know, you have four sides of the fabric that need to come together. Well, French seams, sewing with French seams is a great way to alleviate the bulk that ends up in your crotch area or down your thighs, you know, irritating your legs. Let's take a look at what that clean sewing seam looks like. These are a pair of pants. Um, I made a basically like a 90s jumpsuit, um, the pants and the jacket, which I will be doing a video on how to do um, the jacket as well. But um, so it was a matching, a matching jumpsuit. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're talking about the French seams. Take a look at this. This is what French seams are. When you look inside of the clothing and you have that nice, clean seam. Look at that. You don't have raw edges. Some people, when they sew clothing, they use serges because it's quick, it's easy, but it leaves bulk and you end up seeing the raw edges. You don't see raw edges here. You have that nice, clean, soft feel. That's a French edge, that's a French seam. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So we have two pieces of fabric like this. This can be one pant leg, this can be the other, okay? What we're going to do is sew these two together, right? But forget everything you already know where normally you put pretty side to pretty side. You normally would have this. We're not doing that for French seams. The way that you sew French seams is going to be wrong side to wrong side. Put those two wrong sides together so you are looking at the pretty side of your fabric, okay? Sew your seam. Right now, we're gonna sew on the outside. If your seam allowance is half an inch, we wanna sew half of half, half of half of the inch, which is gonna be a quarter of an inch. So let's go ahead and sew straight down, okay? All right, here is that seam we just did, right? Now, if this were your pants, the pair of pants, this is what you would see. That's what you would see right there. But wow, we don't want to wear pants outside like that, right? Absolutely not. So the next part, what we're going to do, you don't have to do this, but it's what I like to do sometimes. If I sew a big seam, I like to just check. And what I like to do, we fold over.
roll this with your hand. Roll this. The goal is to get that seam, to get this part of the seam tucked in. This is going to be the inside of your pants or the, the shirt sleeve, whatever you're sewing. Roll it between your fingers. And now the goal is if you need to iron it, you can iron it depending on what type of fabric you're using. The goal now is we want to make sure that when we sew this final seam, we want to make sure that we include, we got to catch this part inside. So we want to sew right on the outside of that seam. That's what we're going to do. Go ahead and sew right on the outside of that seam. I, get, I know where my seam ends underneath this. I did a quarter of an inch, okay? But we're gonna go straight down and sew. If you need to, if you need to, you don't have to, take your scissors, okay? There's nothing wrong with this, especially when you're first starting. Take your scissors and cut, make your seam a little smaller, especially if you're working with a fabric that may have stragglies. Okay, because you don't want those stragglies to end up on the pretty side of, on the good side of your seam. Ready? Okay. Hold this over and let's hit the machine. I'm rolling it. Okay, here we are. I know that I'm going to catch that seam inside because I'm sewing at a quarter of an inch. If you are sewing shorts or pants, this would be the inside of your leg. Look how pretty that is. It's beautiful. It's not, you don't have raw edges that are going to be rubbing up against you because you have a nice smooth edge. Look at that. And it's clean. It's clean. Look at the stitching. It's pretty. Okay. Let's open it up to see the outside of your fabric. There's the outside of your fabric. If you want this to be the inner part of your thigh, of obviously you're imagining this is, you're imagining right now that this is a pair of pants now that I've just closed up. Okay, whether this is the outside of your, um, your leg area or the inside, doesn't matter. When you iron it, it's going to flatten down. The point is, is that you have that beautiful clean seam inside of your of your shorts or your pants and then you just iron it down in order to flatten out your pair of pants that's how you make french seams <laughs> let's look at these let's look at the inside of these pants again so you can see okay you do the same thing for both sides you see that clean seam right there, this is the inside of the pretend pair of pants or shorts. It's the same thing I've done here. You see that? Clean seam. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Doesn't matter what side you're doing. Doesn't matter. You're going to do the same thing for both sides of the short, uh, for both sides of the shorts or the pants. Okay. Same thing, the butt area, <laughs> the butt area. Nice, clean, nice, clean seams. So just imagine you could be walking around in comfort. <laughs> All right, if you have any other questions, put them down below. But this was just a quick, quick um, way for you to learn how to do the French seams.
okay? And just be sure every time you're done with something, make sure you iron it. <laughs> all right, that's all. I will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.